Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and you know what? Hasbro sent over a big old box of stuff for their Mandomania promotion, so big thanks to them. But today, we're going to be taking a look at the Black Series Darksaber. This isn't a new product, but out of all the things in this big old box, it's the one I'm most excited for. Plus, every week I'm doing these watch parties. So every Tuesday night, 11 o'clock, I do live streams where we hang out for about an hour before the new show drops. Right now it's Mandalorian. It's going to be another show. It's going to be Ahsoka later, but I still do them every Tuesday. Even when there's not a new show, we'll pick something Star Wars-y to watch together. So you're always welcome and invited. That said, I'm about to record one in just a little bit, so you'll probably see me change outfits later when I record the other half of this video. But for now, I gotta dig into this big old box and find that dark saber. Okay, let's do it. Let's, uh, it's, I mean, it's buried in here somewhere. There's all kinds of stuff. And I know, I mean, there's, there's, I'm gonna use my, my other hand there and kind of adjust it. I've got black series, I got vintage collection. I got all manner of things, even hero squad lightsabers masks like yeah so much stuff but buried at the bottom of this box down here is a force effects elite mandalorian dark saber there it is there it is and it closes big old beautiful box look at that thing look at that thing that's gorgeous but this is why we're here for this okay here it is look at this thing look at this i can't even fit it all on frame mandalorian dark saber star wars black series force effects elite this i don't typically do replicas and specifically someone who's like i thought you didn't collect lightsabers no i do collect lightsabers i just don't typically collect replicas in fact the only yeah the only replicas i have with the exception of the legacy series halcyon lightsaber from galactic star cruiser because you can only get it there and i thought it was special that's the only replica i've bought just saying, it's the only one I've personally bought. All the rest I've had sent to me. In this case, this is one that I don't own yet. It's not new, but I, I'm gotta say, I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, and these are very similar and comparable to the Disney Parks Legacy Sabers, except for they got way more features. They, these Force Effects Elite, I will always recommend this over a Disney Park Saber, but I've never played with this one. I haven't even watched a review from anyone else. So let's take a look at the outside of the box. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm I'm pretty excited over all of this. Okay, so this looks to be like I think that's the ignite. There's no words on here, so it's I kind of just gotta figure out what they mean. It glows red at some point. I think that's like a strike thing. I it's got like a burn, like a tip burn glow thing. Oh, the black series. There's Manda Ooh and Moff Gideon on there. I love that. That's a good touch. What are, what are these markings? I don't know what these little markings are. They're kind of cool, but I don't know what they have to do with anything. Uh, ages 14 and up. Rechargeable bat. Oh, I love that. Rechargeable battery. Beautiful. Probably USB. Uh, Force Effects Elite. Oh, I like on the box. No, it's glossy. Oh, that is a really cool touch on the artwork of this box. So this is like matte finish, and then you get to the saber, and it's got a nice gloss to it. That is cool. Mandalorian Dark Saber, Force Effects, Elite Saber, anything on the bottom, just a normal disclosure. It does not say anything about being approved by Zero to Three Sad Babies, but I promise you that it absolutely is. Okay, let's get into some of these features. What do, what do we got to say here? What do we? I can look. I can barely fit this on my desk. It barely sits and fits on my desk. Can I even read this over here? Combining advanced LEDs and amplified sound technology, the Force Effects Elite Saber is the most authentic Force Effects lightsaber yet. I love it. Uh, is there more? Is there more in English? No, the rest is just different languages. Cool. All right, what is this feature? Blaster deflect. Nice. Different spots on the blade. Three different spots. It'll do blaster deflect. I like that. Progressive ignition. Choom, 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 choom. All the way down. Bright white light LED blade. Advanced LEDs. Okay. Authentic dark saber sound effects. Beautiful. What's on the bottom? Battle clash effect. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. A removable blade. Oh, I like that too. Removable blade. That way you can just roll out with the hilts. Very cool. Molten blade tip effects. Again, you don't get that in a Disney Park Saber. They don't do the that. They don't do they don't do they do battle clash, but maybe not on the blade as much. It's more of just a flash instead of specific parts of the blade. Yeah, this these are always superior. I promise you they are real metal hilts. Display stand. Oh, see, and you get a display stand for it. Guys, I'm going to put a, an Amazon link 
down in the description below. It is, will be an affiliate link, so if you buy any of these off Amazon, I think right now they're a little bit cheaper on Amazon if you can find them uh, than anywhere else, but if not, you can buy anything through Amazon. Supporting those links or using them to buy anything, even toilet paper or socks, goes to support the channel and is much appreciated. Okay, where where do I where do I start? So the thing about these boxes is where you where this little part here, it's always angled and it's always kind of funky getting them out. Even this side. Even this side is kind of like wonky and weird angled. So I never know what the right way to do this is. I'm gonna try and slide this down. Can I will that work? I'm gonna get my blade of exact zero. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can, will it, can I? Am I strong enough? Do I have it in me? Okay, part of the stand is coming out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, ho, ho. Star Wars Force. It says even on there, Star Wars Force Effects Elite. I like it. I like it. Okay. Okay. Can I? Can I get... Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, it's so... Why is it so large? This is, this is why we're here. The heft. You could... Club a moose with this. Not that I would ever recommend clubbing a moose. Be nice to animals. But, my goodness, this is beefy. Oh, my God. This is huge. Not huge. Like, it's it's heavy. No wonder Din Djarin could barely pick this thing up. Oh, my. That's. That's a couple pounds. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get buff. Okay, let's get the rest of this stuff out. Okay, here's the stand. Here's the stand. Nice little, nice little tissue paper business. We'll put that off to the side, little stand there. What do I got left? I got stand, I got a stand piece. The blade is in here. Let me cut that out. Got it. What does the blade look like? Oh, that's an interesting look for this blade. I, I'll be honest, I'm not sure what, what I expected. I really don't, I, I kinda, I'm, I'm interested. I thought maybe there would be like some design or something on there. It's just plain black. Maybe there is when it lights up. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, can I figure it out with... Do I have to charge it? It's going to make me charge it, isn't it? I don't want to charge it. I just want to play with it right now. <laughs> can I just play with it right now, please? Okay, guys. So I've got it all set up. It's charged. I installed the blade. It does come with the little Allen wrench. And this piece comes out of the top where the blade goes. This is like kind of sits in as somewhat of a blade plug. That you can remove it very easily it comes out the battery goes in the bottom. There's one little Little nut down here. You can do again. It has a very specific Allen wrench you undo it your battery comes out. You can charge it, but let's let's light this puppy up This is it just plain again just black blade the sides have lights to it or at least it's clear as far as I can tell Okay, okay look okay. I Let's see that all on screen again Ready? Let's block my eyeballs. See if maybe that works a little bit better. Okay, I like the light up. The light up is smooth. It goes from end to end. I'm gonna hold it again. One more time. Okay, I that's a good look. That is a... On, so on this camera, that looks really good. Now how's the... So this is hard for me. Recently, I've been toying around with a lot more NeoPixel sabers from different companies, and they all have smooth swing. A very responsive smooth swing. This doesn't. This is not, it's just not the same. It, it does respond, you can hear it make noises when I whoosh it around. It does some of that stuff, but it is not smooth swing. And so neither does the legacy version. But okay, how about Clash? Oh, I turned it off. I didn't mean to turn it off. Let's, let's hold it this way. Okay, so it flashes. You can kind of see it. It definitely makes the noise. Okay, certain spots. And it moves and it flickers in different spots. It's really hard to see, honestly. And you know what? So you guys probably can't see it on camera. But to my naked eye, you can see the different LEDs inside in though on camera it looks white and bright on camera it looks beautiful in real life in person it doesn't look as good i can see the little individual lights in each part and that's kind of it's kind of weak i'll be honest it's kind of weak so okay let's go through the features so you guys can barely even see any of that 
So it does flash red in different spots. But it's it's kind of weak. And again, this might just be because I've been staring at NeoPixels for the last two weeks. I don't know. Okay, oh here, okay, so that's that's kind of cool. It does have that burn effect, so I let it go. It's white, but if I hold down the button, you can kind of see it moving a little bit. It's not very bright though. It looks cool. It feels good. It feels heavy. It feels legit. Like I imagine this is what a dark saber would feel like to wield. Like if I had to guess, I'm guessing. This is in heft. This feels right. It's got a good weight to it. Like I said earlier, it was like, okay, yeah, I can I can feel that. Like just lifting it up as is. I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm gonna do some curls with this tomorrow. Um <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get ripped, bro. <laughs> but oh, you know what else is interesting? After it's been on, this portion stays lit up. You may not be able to tell, but that's actually glowing and lit up. You know what? I'm curious what this looks like if I turn off the lights in this room. I'm going to turn off most, not all, but I'm going to turn off a good amount of the lights in this room. And we'll see how this thing behaves. Okay, so as of right now, I've got most of the lights off. There's a little bit of light coming from my computer. Just the light in the background. Let's see how this thing lights up now. You can really tell that it's lit up. How does this look now? Okay. That looks a bit better. That looks quite a bit better. That looks a bit... So maybe I had too many lights on. It's still not super bright, and it really just goes orange, yellow, and then it's just red back and forth right here. You can, you can kind of see a little bit of the edge there. <sighs> I don't know. Like, it's not, it's not something you can spin very well. It, it also, it, it's not a lightsaber. It's a darksaber. It's not spun the same way a lightsaber would be so that makes sense but as far as how it looks it is very cool i'm noticing it's a little dim down here towards the bottom it's maybe you can see this on camera on this phone camera a little bit better but i want you to see what i'm talking about when i'm talking about seeing the lights on the side okay so you can kind of see how dim it is right there it definitely has a dim kind of look in fact let's let's move over to the carpet this will probably let you see it a little bit better. Okay, so now you can see the orange, the yellow, the red. But you can't really see the different LEDs in there the way I can. You can see a little bit of it right there. You can see how it's not consistently lit up. And that's because to the naked eye, you can see all the, the LEDs right there. Look at that. Look at that. You can see that in person way worse than you can on camera. But I do want to just show you a couple more of these, these features that it's got. So there it is. It does light up. It's very faint. There's the, the melt. Here's the... That's the clash effect. That actually is pretty cool. And then to see it just kind of in the dark waving around... It looks good waving around fast on any camera. It's got a good glow to it, but it's, I gotta say, a NeoPixel version of this would be a lot cooler. And how's the, how's the top? How's the top? Okay, there's the top. All right, not bad. Not bad, but I expected slightly better. Okay, so right now on Amazon, you can find this for $300. The lowest price I found was $299. And I was thinking that's a bit steep. It's a little steep. It's a heavy, like, it's, I don't know. I, I think this is really good. The hilt itself is really well made. The heft is there. The fact that it's got a rechargeable battery is really nice. The blade itself is cool. It's just not very bright. And unfortunately, since I don't collect legacy sabers, I can't compare that brightness. But I can tell you this does have more features in what it does than a legacy saber. And the legacy saber is $50 less. So you're paying 50 bucks more for this, for those features like that wall melt, like that little melt that happens there, for some of the different blaster, not blaster deflect, I guess it's a deflect, and then the clash features that are a little bit different. 
but it's really just these two strips of LEDs on the side and the unique sounds that I don't know what the one from Shop Disney is like, but I can tell you the legacy stuff, it's just usually lacking in features. So I would still say go with this one, the 50 bucks, well, I don't know, it's really up to you. If those kind of features don't wow you and that's not something you're interested in, then you know what? Save 50 bucks. Save 50 bucks. Get the one from Shop Disney slash Galaxy's Edge. They The hilts themselves look similar enough that it's probably, like, negligible. You know, if you're not super into the features, you're going to end up displaying this most of the time anyways. Save 50 bucks. I'm going to put links to both. They're both affiliate links to either Shop Disney or to Amazon. You choose and do it yourself. I will say, compared to other Force Effects Elite, this one's a little bit weak. When it comes to my rating of either black or white, sad or rad, I have a really, really hard time. Because it 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 looks, it feels rad. But when it comes to the blade and the actual strength of how it lights up, I gotta be honest, it feels a little sad. Now, one thing to consider on that price too is this comes with the stand. And I really like that, actually. I think this stand is quite nice. And it makes for a really cool display. So, just barely. But I'm going to rate this thing rad. I'm still going to rate it rad. I think it's really cool. I'm glad I have it. I'm going to have a lot of fun. Probably going to put the Bogotan helmet on, run around the neighborhood in the dark, and just go be a weirdo. Because that's how I roll. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a thumbs up on this video. And until next time, don't be a moof milker. Be the spark. Be the spark.